I want to show you how to do the moonlit lace stitch. This lace stitch can be loom knit on any gauge of loom, any weight of yarn. This is a four row repeat. It's very textured and very lacy. It will need a border. Now I chose to do this border for my own reasons but you can do any border you wish whatever you think will work but it will need one not because it curls but because it needs that structure on the end you can do your own uh, choose your own bind off and your own cast on so I'm giving you a lot of freedom here to use your own border your own cast on your own bind off I'll leave it all up to you because everybody has their favorites and most time you can work it in somehow so I give you choice to experiment with that now I did do this sample and this sample is on a um, half gauge with a number four weight the last one was a three eighths gauge with a four weight yarn that's why it looks tighter this one looks looser you lose some of the structure and integrity of the stitches and the design but it's still workable so you can decide do you want it a little bit tighter do you want it a little bit looser today I'm just gonna be showing you the stitch and then I'll have reviewing tips after. So I've got two turning pegs here just for the sake of showing you the, the stitch pattern here on, on um, video. But the actual stitch starts on the second peg and ends on second to the last peg. Okay, so we're going to go from our turning peg, peg one, and we're going to e wrap the first stitch and knit it off. The second peg, we're going to purl over twice, just like that. And you're going to be alternating that every other peg until you get to where your border ends on each side. So, whichever way you're working, we're working to the left or the right on your row, first row. So again, we're going to do an e-wrap knit stitch, knit it off. And then the next peg, we're going to do two purl overs. So you scoop up from the bottom, pull your top loop down, flip it over, and snug it up. And we're going to do that one more time. Then we're going to e wrap knit stitch, purl over twice, one two and then I'm just going to wrap that turning peg okay now going back in the other direction we're going to do the opposite this last one we purled over twice so that means we're going to e-wrap it and knit it off well a loop got away with me there not sure what happened okay E wrap, knit it off, and then this peg we're going to purl over twice. See, we're just doing the opposite and alternating, but we're doing the opposite of what we did the last row. So we purled over this one twice the first row. We're going to e wrap it again. I mean, e wrap it this time. And then this was an e wrap, so we're going to purl over. one two and then we're going to e-wrap and then purl over because the first one we e-wrap the first time on row one and then I'm just going to e-wrap this last one because it's my turning peg okay row three Oh, and this does need to be done on an even um, pegged loom. So it needs to be divisible by two. We're going to wrap two as one. So big old E-wrap around two as one. We're going to come from our turning peg or wherever your border ends right here. And we're going to wrap around the back side of those two pegs, around the front. We're going to knit both of them off. 
and then we're going to layer front in between, I mean layer front, layer yarn <laughs> in between those two pegs and purl that second peg. And you're going to do this all the way till you get to your border or whatever you decide to do at the end. In sets of two. And then I'm going to just you wrap that turning peg. Remember that's not really part of the pattern. It's just so I can show you the pattern. Okay, remember I said there's four rows. We're already on our fourth row. So going back to the beginning, we're going to do the same thing we did for row three. So row three and four are the same. We're going to come from our border or whatever you do here. And we're going to wrap around. Knit off. Purl the second peg. Wrap around. Knit both of them off. Purl the second peg. And let's go and you wrap that last one. Now that is all there is to the four row repeat of the moonlit lace stitch. Now I'm going to start my reviewing tips. Now one of my tips, and I think this is easier for me, it may not be for you, um, but I'm going to suggest it. If you would like to put a stitch marker on every other peg to remind you what to do, that's fine. But I've got another um, suggestion that I use when I um, do a lot of stitches like this. When I go to row one and start it, I do my E-wrap and I leave it on. Okay? And then when I go to the two, I go ahead and do my two purl overs like this. And then I E-wrap. Then I do my two purl overs. E-wrap. Leave it on. Do my two purl overs. And then I U-wrap. Okay. Now when I go back to two, I know because I'm going to do, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do the opposite of what I did last time. So, I know every peg that has two loops is the one I'm supposed to that I e-wrapped on my first row. Well I know now that I'm supposed to purl over that one. So what I do is this one was a purl over so I know I e-wrap it. So I go ahead and knit it off this time on row two. Then when I get to this one with two I go ahead and knit this off first. Then I purl over twice. And that just gives me a visual so I know which ones I'm supposed to e-wrap and which ones I'm supposed to purl. So now I know this was a purl over, so I'm supposed to e-wrap it. I know this was an e-wrap, so I'm supposed to go ahead and e-wrap it off, I mean knit it off, and then do two purl overs here. Now if you don't want to do this little trick, that's fine. You don't have to. You do it your way that's best for you. I just wanted to throw it out there as a tip that you could do this if you wished. It might make it easier for you. Okay, my next tip. The border I used, I used three pegs on each end. And that is this right here. This is my border. There's three pegs right there. And the and the chain right there. Okay, so what I did was I slipped my first peg and I wrapped two, knit them off. Excuse me. Wrap two, knit them off, and purled the second peg. 
Okay. That was the border I used. I used that on every row before I started my stitch pattern. And then when I got to the end, let's pretend I've got down here to the end. I'm down here at my last three pegs. I did the same thing. I wrapped two. Purled the second peg. And you wrap the last one. I did that for every row. So when I went back with two, I'd slip this one, wrap two, knit them off, purl second peg. I do my stitch, and then when I got to my last three here, wrap two, knit them off, purl second peg, you wrap. You do not have to do yours that way. That's just a suggestion. It does give it a very balanced look, as you can see. Okay, that is the Moonlit Lace Stitch, and that was the tutorial and my tips. If you have any questions, leave me some comments below. Please give me a like. Likes help me continue to um, get my, my uh, viewership up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.